guys, welcome back to another video. So, I am definitely filming in a different space temporarily. I'm trying to... In the meantime, this my, my filming space does change quite a lot, but it's much quieter in this room. But today's video is so, so, so exciting because it's going to be so fun. I'm going to be mixing all of my foundations and I'm going to see what it's going to look like on my skin, especially because my skin's not doing that great lately. Let's see if we can create the best concoction ever. If not, I don't know. I don't even know how this is going to turn out, what the colour's going to be, what, if it's going to dry me out. Yeah, we're going to mix them all up and apply it. And then I'll come back later on in a few hours and we'll see how it sits on my skin. I've just laid up all my foundations here and I feel like compared to other bloggers out there, I don't have that much. Like my, my foundation count is nothing to compared to others. But I have 22 foundations, which to me, in my mind, I never thought I would have as many foundations ever. But we're going to mix all of them and we'll see how it looks. I mean, it's definitely not as like 50 or 100 because obviously I don't own that many. Maybe next year I'll probably own that many, I don't even know. But um, I do go through some, like, there's some foundations that I had that are not here anymore, so, because I used them or I gave them away. And I also have, uh, like, free foundation sticks, and I don't want to mix foundation sticks, because that's just... I don't want no clumpy bits in my foundation, and I don't... I just can't bother to cup a foundation stick and put it in my mixture. But I'm going to be right back, I'm going to get a bowl. Okay, so I've got my little glass pot here and I will like, do a little close-up and show you guys what I'm doing. So the first one we have is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. I'm just going to do one pump of that. I've also got the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in 2.1Y. I've got a newbie but a really good one it is the NARS a Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Taro. I've also got my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in caramel. Oh my god, that one's so dark. That one's so much darker and cooler to compare to my other foundations. It's actually cool to see like a comparison to the other foundations I use. So I've also got my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in medium 8. I have my Smashbox Studio Skin in number 4. This one is a bit dark. Here's my beloved Fenty Beauty foundation in... 330. I really really like this one. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Cardamom. My little NYX Control Total Control Drop Foundation in Caramel. There's a lot of caramels. <laughs> I've also got my Rimmel Match Perfection which I haven't used a lot but I used a lot of this one. Um, but I haven't been using it lately. This one's in the shade Bronze. Got my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y445. Dollop that. There's a bloody rainbow in there. Like, what the? It's supposed to be my colour. <laughs> you would think that all your foundations are the same colour, but honestly, they're not. I've also got my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in caramel. I also have my Huda Beauty Foundation in brown sugar. I got a lot of questions about brown sugar. I definitely think I'm more of a brown sugar than. Uh, toffee. A little pump of that as well. Huda Beauty Foundation is definitely a full coverage foundation but I kind of like that to be honest. Then we've got my Sleek Life Proof Foundation, another good one. This is like almost empty. I'm just gonna put like a little dollop. My Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I use the shade Caramel Beige 51. I've got my EX1 foundation in number 11. Number 11 is a good match for my skin tone. Oh, that one's super yellow. I've got some of my Clinique Even Better Glow foundation in Brulee. This one's a super natural one. I'm also going to put some of the Light Wonder foundation in, from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 9. But also, we've also got some of the Nip and Fab foundation, which I haven't used in a while. I'm just going to put a dollop of that as well. And then we've got the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Foundation in 5.5 Warm Honey. So I'm just going to mix that all together with my spoon. Overall, it looks like a good colour. This is what the foundation looks like. The smell. Do you know what's taken over this bloody foundation? The smell is this Wet n Wild 
one that smells like oil paint i swear i don't know like i love the foundation this looks so good on camera but it stinks like honestly it stinks so much i just don't that's just a big put off for me and i've got other foundations so i don't think i'm going to be using that one anymore i just don't like the smell and it's literally taken over this whole foundation and i've put like 22 foundations but that's the smell i can smell even the bobby brown one or the huda beauty one has a strong smell but no That literally looks like a perfect colour. Maybe to reach down there. I'm not too sure about the coverage so far. Oh my god, I'm actually so shocked about the colour. Guys, that looks so good. Like, literally, it's full. it looks full coverage to me. Like, it's covered everything. It's even covered my spot, mostly. Um, the colour, though, definitely works stronger when you unite everything together. So, I'm going to just do the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Right, guys, I've finished my makeup. It's looking a bit, looking a bit patchy. The spot that I have to get rid of. I don't like to put too much highlight these days because my skin is not the greatest like in terms of texture okay so my verdict on the foundation is that it's not that bad like I don't apart from the smell like to be honest I'm really put off by the smell but the finish of it is crazy like it's full coverage it's I don't know it just looks flawless in my opinion I just burn this I really like it guys Here's just a close-up of the foundation. So, yeah, I like, I really like the foundation. It looks really pretty. Um, I will have a little Instagram tutorial on this look. It's super simple. Like. And I know it's a lot of pink. You know, it's a lot of pink, reddish vibes for every day. But, you know, who cares? So, yeah, I'm just going to wear this throughout the day. It feels really comfortable. It looks flawless. It literally looks like I've got the Huda Beauty foundation on, which is so weird. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this on for a few hours and I'll be back later. Right guys, what time is it? It is 9 p.m. 8.50, what we'll say, 9 p.m. I actually didn't take the time when I filmed the first bit of this video, but I think it was around feet three because I got home around two, so it was definitely around three-ish. So I've kept this foundation on for around six hours. I'm saying this foundation as if I've like created my own foundation, but I have to say, mixing all my foundations definitely gave a bomb ass foundation. Yes, I say ass, I don't say ass. Guys, can you just see this foundation? It just looks stunning. It looks so beautiful. I love it so much. And I prefer my. I prefer when I have these backdrops for you guys. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer the white backdrops or do you prefer these ones? It's giving me slight, 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 slight smile lines, but I'm not mad at it. This foundation looks so good. It's like my perfect colour. I am actually going to wear this tomorrow. I've got a quick event to go to tomorrow, so I might as well not waste the foundation and wear it, you know? So, I'm going to do that. I definitely had fun experimenting for this video. I, I definitely think it's worth it. Would I be doing it again? Not really, because I'm not that type of person that likes to mix stuff on a daily basis. If you do like mixing stuff, give it a try, because this looks bomb. Like, this looks so good. I'm very shocked. And I've had it on all day. Like, don't feel heavy. I'm just digging my makeup today and these lashes by Huda Beauty, these are the scarlet ones, they're just so beautiful. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I had tons of fun doing it. Is my lighting too bright? I think it might be. But yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see next as a video. I definitely have some more exciting videos to come up and I'll try my best to make some videos. I mean. I'm trying my best at the moment and I just want to say a huge thank you for all the love and support you guys always give me. I love you guys so much that I can't even say enough. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching again. <laughs> um, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. My name is Anushka. 
Oh, some of you wanted to know how he said my name. My name is Anushka. Just so you guys know. Okay? Alright. Anyways, I love you. I'll see you next time.